we need to determine the type of isomerism that we can see here. So if you look on the left-hand side, there would be four carbons, one, two, three, four. If you look on the right, there would also be four. If you look on the left, there would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten hydrogens. On the left, there's one, two, three, I mean on the right, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then there's one oxygen and one oxygen. So that is what isomers are. Isomers have the same amount of um, elements or the same amount of each element. Okay. So they would have, yeah, so that's an isomer, but now you get different types of isomers. So let's quickly try work out what this is. So this is a alcohol, right? Because it's got that OH and it doesn't have like a double bond oxygen or anything like that. This one is also an alcohol. Okay. So that means it cannot be functional because functional is when the um, the molecules are different, like the one is an aldehyde and the other one's a ketone, or the one's a carboxylic acid and the other one's an ester. Now, chain, let's see. The longest chain I could make here is one, two, three, four. This one is one, two, three, four. So that's the same, so it cannot be that either. So it would have to be position. Now let's just check. If we look at this one, the OH is on carbon number one, Two. So you see the OH is on carbon number two. So the functional group is on carbon number two. For this one, the OH is on carbon number one. So you see that the functional group is on um, a different position. So this is what we call position isomerism. Uh, so we're going to say positional. That's the answer.